Hey guys, so here I am once again with another set of vintage handbags. This is my fourth episode and my last episode of handbags. These four here are by Whiting and Davis. Um, they're a company that began in 1879. I'm not 100% sure I forgot already. Um, but yeah, they began in the late 1800s um they began with a ring mesh handheld bag um and then they stepped it up to um these tiny circle um mesh bags um so yeah so this first one here um, I couldn't find a date. I would say that she's more recent because she is by Wedding and Davis and she's made in um China and she has a super long chain. Um you could say it could be a crossbody um bag and um she has this class here with a half um pearl and little black diamonds there um let me get her opened guys <laughs> hold on I think it's this way yeah and this is what she looks like from the inside and I still have the tag um and um yeah she has a zipper so yeah she was made in China um Oh wait, it's from since 1876. They began in 1876, not 79. But yeah, it's the late 1800s. Um, she has a tag in here, made in China. Um, yeah. And um, she, I found her at a thrift store. Um, I, it was a thrift store that I hardly ever go to. And then when I seen her there, I was like super excited. And I just... Had to have her. So yeah. And then I have this next one here. From what I found online. Um, she is from the 1940s. Um, she has this short chain. And she has a kiss clasp. And this is what she looks like on the inside. And her tag is somewhere in here tucked away. And she is made in the USA. Okay, she's not going to let me see it, but okay, there you go. She is made in the USA. And she has her serial numbers 2957. And then the little um, print right there. The Whiting and Davis. And yeah, so this one I found similar ones um, online from 1940s. Yeah, and um, I also found her at a thrift store, the same thrift store from this one at. Um, so yeah, and then I found this one um, at the local antique salt meet that I frequently go to. She has a short chain, and she is, I guess, um, She's corroded or whatever right there. <laughs> She's turning green. Um, and this is what she looks like from the inside. They're mostly all like the same color from the inside. And then she has her print right there and her tag. She is made in the USA. Um, it doesn't have any serial numbers on the middle. But yeah, she was... Um, Made in the USA, and from what I found online, um, she's from like the like 1950s or 60s, and the um, the years ranged on research. So, yeah, so between 50s and 60s. And then finally, I have this one, which is Art and Deco with the enamel here, and I also found her at the thrift store where I found the first two. 
um, bags and her chain is, is like this. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. And she has flowers and, um, um, the wedding day was our partner up with someone else. I forgot, um, their name already. I want to say heritage something. Um, she has her print right there and yeah, I still have the tag of how much I cut her for. And, um, she is a little bit damaged from the, the silk, um, in there, but it's okay. Um. These were like considered the like Rolls Royce of purses back in the 1920s um, when Whitey and Davis, they were known to cater to um, the rich and famous back then. Um, they call this type of, um, um, whatchamacallit, mesh, um, spider mesh because of the way it, it's it's made um so yeah so she has a couple of ringed um um mesh in there and that's how white and davis began was with little tiny rings um and then in 1920s they mass produced um with a machine um according to their history online um so yeah so like this was the rolls royce of it's time in the 1920s they were catered to the rich and famous and um nowadays you kind of see famous people walk around um well not walk around like but when they have like galas and all that um music words and stuff um they carry around wedding and davis um handbags so yeah um these are um, this one is my favorite. This one's like definitely my favorite. I was so excited when I found her. I mean, the price was like, oh my god, like because these are appraised at a higher price according to their um their their valued according to their um what's that word I'm trying to find <laughs> um to how well they are kept, I guess. Um, so yeah, so this is my favorite right now. Um, I hope I'm lucky again <laughs> finding one like that because they were, um, um, more than these being catered, also catered to rich and famous. And these were like the ones everyone wanted to have because they were, um, in white mesh and colored patterns so yeah so there you go this is my last video of my handbag collection i hope you guys enjoyed and um yeah thank you for watching thank you for your support make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are randomly passing through and uh, make sure to hit the like button so i know you like my videos and feel free to leave a comment Thank you guys so much for your support and thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.